Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you how to draw this pretty easily, uh, like a intertwined chain effect. So we're going to take an ellipse, doesn't matter what size, and hit P. I'm going to go to the Distort tool, and I'm going to distort it three times, and then make this angle like 20 make it four we want a little bit more of that so it's four at 20 or any you know any number and then we're gonna with the distort tool i normally convert it to a curve and then turn it into a deal but right here in the distort tool you can smooth distortion now we can figure it out mathematically but we need to figure out what the rotation is and i'm going to rotate at 15 degrees and that's a little bit off 16, 17, let's say 18 degrees. That would be better because it would be mathematically correct. You just want these even. Now, there are several ways to do this, but we're going to select it all and go to like a half inch line. And then I'm going to go to object and convert the outline to an object. And then I can left click, right click. There's two trains trains of thought here. You could get your virtual segment delete key, which might be easy for some people, and just delete, you know, every other line so it looks like it's working like that. Or we could do it another way by taking the Smart Field tool. I'm going to get rid of my indexing line for just a second. I'm going to need them back. I'm going to get my Smart Field tool, and I'm going to fill in that one, that one, and that one. And that one. No, that won't be on the next color. So this one is over. The other one is under. So then I'm going to get my Smart Fill tool and let's do black. And we'll do that right there. Now to make sure it works, we're going to group that together. Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to bring my indexing lines back. I'm going to put the rotation on the center, and it's not, so I'm going to get it closer. There we go. And now, we should be able to rotate it 36 degrees. Look at that. Control D, Control D, Control D. So I'm just doubling the um, factor. And if you ever get lost and you don't can't add real good, just plus 36. And then control D. Sorry about that. And then you want to select it all and right click no outline. And then you could change the colors to whatever you want. And, and by doing that, you could nudge, you know, you could nudge colors. Um, you know, just, well, those are grouped together. So we need to ungroup it all. So you could nudge colors and get them out of the way. And we should have really done this before. And I'm going to make a second video how you could find and replace and make life a little easier on yourself. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.